is where it starts getting odd. So, um, yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, got the mask. I try, but differently. Actually, I'll place it so you guys can actually see it. It's actually decent. Um, now, this is that concept I told you about just a minute ago for the Midnight Flame. This is actually the Midnight Flame or Midnight Play Sword. If you etch the blade, it actually can catch fire. If you ignite it or something, or if you hit it with a spark, it will ignite. Then all you have to do is sort of blow on it a bit or something. You have to... Only the holder of the sword can actually do this. The holder of the sword is the only person who can actually ignite the sword at all or actually do anything with it. It has to be the owner, the only way you can really use it. Like, imagine the sword from Don Machi. Or, sadly to say, how to pick up girls in a dungeon. I mean, uh, wait, what was the name of it? The actual name. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Now imagine the knife that uh, the, guy, the kid gets, where it gets dull, if it's not the owner, true. That is actually the same point as this. So, unless you're the owner or unless you... But this has a little difference. In, if you're the owner, but you give it to somebody so they can do something with it, that's fine. It actually came useful last night, in fact. Yeah, I was in a Skype call with a bunch of buddies. And no, I will not be putting my Skype info online. Now, this is cool. This is actually something I did. I tried shading. Um, I don't like how the hair came out. I think I could have done better. But this is really good. I personally prefer this over this. This is Saitama with little... I can't remember his name. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> In his hoodie. Um, an American flag. Yeah, um, I actually got the wave to work. Um, this I sort of messed up at. But I think it came out pretty good. This is something. Yeah, my character, he's very messed up. He's He wears this hood all the time. This is his mask. Let me tell you about the mask. The mask is his respirator. If he doesn't wear this, he will die. Now, there are little, there is actually a way he can eat and drink. These plates come off. This plate is actually where, this, there's this little plate right here that you can see. Same for, these are all plates. But these two come off. Actually, they all come off to be like a grinder or something. I'm not sure yet. So he can eat and drink. But right up here, this one is practically permanent. Unless these are in, this one will not come out. The reason is because that is actually where he puts his medicine. His medicine is Nightshade, a very deadly poison. This is actually my OC character. I haven't finished it, of course. Um, but tattoos, thing from his arm, uh, sort of robotic arm. Uh, this is actually showing my character. He actually, uh, when I made this, it was his right arm, left leg that were robotic. And then he lost his right leg last night. So this is also robotic. And this is actually um, the only flesh and blood limb he has. Besides his main body and his head, of course, and stuff. Um, random drawing. Duct tape. Duct tape. Zipper and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. This is unfinished. Oh, man. This is something I was hoping to sell. And, uh, my name's on it, so yeah. And then, this last one... Okay, yeah, I didn't put my name on it. Yeah. I actually tried to draw a teacup. I want to check something. I think that there's one more thing in here, maybe? Okay, no. Straight to the back, quick. Yeah, you can see me just flipping the teacup. Getting closer to the end. Now, quickly, I do not own any of this art. This is actually some of mine, but I didn't create it. There is some art. Actually. This was made by somebody else. 
So, this is actually a reference. If anybody gets the reference, say it in the uh, things. I don't curse or anything, really. I don't speak cursing, but still, it is hilarious. If anybody gets this. Mina Harker, Queen of Noses, <laughs> too depressed for you. Yeah. I don't know what this is still. This, I don't get it. This, I don't know what the heck that is from. This is actually really my favorite piece. Um, let me check something. Okay, yes. Now, this is actually a two-part piece of art. So, I'm just going to sort of clear this out quick. Pull these two apart. This is actually something I made a while back, actually. Um, about, I want to say... October, maybe a week or two before, actually, I think, oh wait, no, I already deleted those, I'll have to ask my buddies when this was, but this was ages ago that this happened, so, of course, we have Tissy Toby, in which I did really, I, I like this one a lot, this is actually one of my personal favorites, the goggles, the hair, the nose, everything, it's really good. And then, you got clockwork. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to actually show the skip, I'm gonna stand up just to show you guys. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, actual art for me and my buddies. <coughs> We're still trying to get better. We're still trying to learn and stuff. But thanks everybody for watching if you did. Now I will not do a face reveal. But I will put on a gas mask and, I, and start recording where you guys can see my face, sort of. But it will, won't exactly be real. So, but thanks everybody for watching. Oh, and uh, here's a little hint. Oh, wait. You know what? I forgot to show you the art I mentioned. Oh, by the way. Nerf guns. I have more, but they're not hanging at the moment. Um, something I forgot to show. Yes. Something I actually did in Expo Marker. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you had a good time. And see you guys later. Bye.